Saints are ordinary people doing ordinary things in extraordinary ways. Every Christian, every person in this church, you are called to be a saint. You are called to be holy. The Jewish people called it Kodesh, the holiness that God gives to you is the basic Christian vocation. You are called to be a saint. Today we celebrate all saints. Tomorrow we celebrate all souls. Our secular world will say to us, there is nothing beyond the grave. That's it. When you die, that's no more. Our Catholic Christian hope is far beyond the grave. That when we leave the banquet table, the pilgrim table on earth, we go to the pilgrim banquet table in heaven. And those who have gone before us, all the saints, all the souls, are still connected to us. They're still here with us. Death does not unravel our relationships we had with them. And in fact, death strengthens our relationship with the saints and with our family members and all the souls who in God's grace have made it to heaven. My friends, to understand that is to understand the Christian journey. The children who are making their confirmation, their first communion today, I want you to be saints. I want people to say, look, there goes a saint. Just only a couple of weeks ago, the Holy Father made a saint of a 16-year-old boy, Carlo Acutis, a 16-year-old. And amazing. If you open up the newsletter, you'll see all the teenager saints that I've put there over the last hundred years. Extraordinary young men and women who have lived their life in Kodesh. Let me tell you a story. Tomorrow is all souls. Today is all saints. Yesterday, I watched a great movie. And the movie is called... Coco. I don't know. Most of the kids have probably watched it. It's a great movie. Now, I'm not going to get into the argument about celebrating um, the Day of the Dead in Mexico and that. I'm not going to get into that. But if you watch the movie, there's a wonderful unfolding of this little boy and his journey to understand those who have gone before us. The little boy's name is Miguel. And Miguel was told that he wasn't allowed to play any music. Music was banned in his family. So much so that his grandmother, Imelda, threatened all the mariachis with her smelly shoe, saying, no music, mariachi, go away. But Miguel had it in him that he knew something was not right. Anyway, he found out that his grandfather played music. And he went to his grandfather's mausoleum and took his grandfather's guitar. And when he did, this boy was transported, transformed to the afterlife. And in the afterlife, he met all his family. He met his grandfather. He met his family. He met friends. He met all these people who had gone before him, all the saints and all the souls. A wonderful movie that says, our poorest world is connected from us to the saints and our all souls by a connection of God's love. That's basically the premise of the movie. Miguel finds the secret. And of course, being dizzy, he lives happily ever after. Okay, I'm not going to go into the final thing. But if you get a chance to watch the movie, it's a great movie about the connection we have or should have with our family our family of faith and our family biological. 
that doesn't unravel with death. My friends, those who are making their first communion and your confirmation today, I'm going to, in a moment, anoint you with oil on your forehead. And I'm going to call you after either your name or a saint's name. I want you to be like that saint. I want you to imitate them in your holiness of life. Then I'm going to slap you on your face, okay? It's a little tap on the cheek that in the Roman soldier days, that's how they pledged allegiance. They would give a tap on the cheek and they would pledge allegiance. We as a church have picked up on that ancient symbol. We've used it in our confirmation. Then you're going to receive your first communion. You'll make an altar with your hands. And when I say the body of Christ, the blood of Christ, you will say, Amen. And that Amen means, yes, I believe that what happens here on this altar is it Christ who will nourish me to be holy. So my friends, I ask